In this video, we are using editor version 3.23, and I'm going to very quickly show you how to go from factory default settings to working with uh, the XFX using scenes and uh, syn synchronized um, effects automatically with the least amount of programming. So again, we have an editor just, just opened up with all factory defaults. Uh, after we're done programming, we'll uh, connect it to Liquid Foot. I have on standby a brand new one and uh, download this. And then I'm going to switch over to a camcorder and show the actual Liquid Foot with the programming we're about to do and how it actually operates. Okay, so since we're a default, let's start with global settings. First thing we need to do is tell uh, the MIDI channel which um, channel has the X effects. In this example, I'm going to use an XFX2 because that's what's plugged into MIDI channel 1. If you're using an Ultra, just leave off the number 2 and make sure it's all caps. This tells the liquid foot that uh, it's a known type of device. You can scroll down if you want with the down arrow and just select XFX2. So there are certain devices that have particular behaviors that it knows how to handle. Okay, so we can leave everything else default for right now. And let's go ahead and go to the Global 2 settings screen. And here we just have a couple settings to change. So the guitar tuner, we're going to change that to XFX. The preset name source, we're going to change that to XFX. And tap tempo, we're going to change that to XFX. And that's all we have to do for global settings. Now there are three other parameters here. Let me just explain them quickly. And if you mouse over them uh, with your editor loaded, you'll be able to see what they do. But essentially, allow external device force preset change. If we turn this on, then as you use the scroll wheel on the Axe FX, uh, let's say you scroll over to preset 100, the liquid foot will also then jump over to preset 100 on the foot pedal. So that's what that does. Save preset name on sync. Uh, we're going to do external sync without actually programming the liquid foot itself. So every time you're changing presets, it grabs the preset name and all the effect states. If we have this parameter on, it'll actually save that preset name right into the liquid foot itself. And this last parameter here, if we turn it on, we'll save all the IA states. It's not necessary, and you'll see why in a second, but that allows you to self-program the liquid foot as you're actually using it. Okay, so we're done with the global settings. The next thing we're going to do is program our IA slots. Now, just for this example, I'm going to program scenes and then a couple of effects. So let's just program in three scenes to get started. So scene number one, scene number one. Now what we want an IA switch for scenes to be is a stomp. We're going to assign it a group. And the reason we're assigning it to all the scenes to a group is that when you step on one particular or trigger one particular scene, we want all the other scenes to shut off and show that as a state on the buttons. Okay, so we're going to assign scene one to group one. We're going to program in a MIDI command first. It's going to be a CC, and by default, the CC number is 34. And then the data value is from 0 to 7. 0 is scene one. Uh, the number one is scene two, and so on. And then we want to add one more command, and that's external device sync. And what this tells the liquid foot is first trigger the scene. So in this case, we're going to trigger scene one. And then go ahead and go out and grab all the current states of all the effects that we have synchronized to the X effects, and I'll show that in a second. Okay, so to simplify my programming, I'm going to copy that. And now we're going to go to IA slot number two. Make that scene two. Again, we're going to connect this to group one. We're going to paste our previous programming and change this to scene number two, which is parameter number one. Okay, we're done there. And let's add one more scene. Of course, you can add all eight if you want. And we'll group that. Save and make that scene number three. Okay, so we're done with our scene programming. And now let's just add a couple of, well, actually, let's add a tuner. People always ask me how to use a tuner. It's really simple. So go ahead and uh, pull a command called gtuner. And the CC number for the XFX is number 15. OK, so we're, and we want our switch type to be quick tap. So now we're done. Programmed our tuner. Very easy. And now let's go ahead and synchronize some effects. So I'm going to grab the XFX as the device we're going to sync this IA slot to. And let's go ahead and sync this to delay one. 
and then say yes to auto program it you'll see it'll add the default CC messages and it'll rename it so we're done with that IA slot and let's synchronize to how about a uh, chorus and we'll have an auto program okay and you can see we could just keep going I'm not going to do that and you'll see why so let's just add one more so we'll add to drive okay so let's look at the page now and see what we've done I'm going to go ahead and demo this on a 12 plus so here we have preset 1, 2, and 3 are going to show up on the bottom. Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3, which are IA slots 1, 2, and 3 are just happen to already be on these buttons. So we'll leave those there. The tuner we just put up on button number 10, because that's IA slot number 4. And then we have delay and chorus, which will just be the first two effects. Now we can add more and change our layouts, but just for a quick demo, this is how you do it. Okay, now let's go to our presets and edit them. Now this is really simple to do. Since we're going to synchronize everything externally, we don't have to pre-program in anything. All we need to do is tell the preset to enable external device sync for the IAs. So that'll grab the um, delay and the reverb and the drive, I'm sorry, delay chorus and drive that we pre-programmed with a sync, and it'll grab those states right off of the external device. And the other thing we want to do is grab the preset name in a live format, so we'll turn that on. Now we want to do this for all our presets, so I'm going to hit the right mouse button now that we turned it on and say yes. And that just programmed in all of the presets. So let me show you that. If I go to preset 2 and 3, you can see that I turn, I, these are still off. So let's go to number 1. Right click on it, say yes, and now it's programmed. You can see as I'm scrolling, it's programmed all of the uh, uh, parameters. Okay, we're done. So now what I'm going to do is connect my liquid foot and it's grabbing that. Okay, and we're now connected wirelessly. So let's go ahead and send all of the programming to the liquid foot. And then I'm going to switch over to camcorder and sh perfect liquid foot that had no programming with what we just edited so let me just show you what we did here um, so we programmed uh, by default presets uh, holder one two and three for each uh, of three presets in a bank and then we have bank up and down then we have scene one scene two scene three then we have a tuner and then a delay and a chorus. Notice that it's just still default programming. Uh, it says preset 001 and the effects are off and it's just defaulting to scene one. And if I scroll over to preset number two, you'll see it says preset two, again defaults, and if I go to three, and so on. Okay, now if we're supposed to sync with the XFX, then how come nothing is showing up? And that is because I didn't turn the XFX on yet. So you can see in our rig here, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to do a couple things. Since we're connected uh, to the XFX, watch the, uh, we set the tap tempo uh, to external device XFX. So as soon as the XFX comes on, let's get it started, actually. Uh, once it boots up, we'll see that the uh, tap tempo data will start coming in. And that's how we know that we are synced up. So let's see. Okay, so you can already see the status light blinking. And it's going in time with uh, the tap tempo. So we're now actually connected to the XFX. Now watch what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and press uh, preset number two. And instantly the delay came on and it's green and the name came on and it's Mr. Gilmore lead and so if we go ahead and look on the XFX, let me zoom in here so you can see that it's preset number two, scene one and it's the Gilmore so the, oops, the liquid foot is now connected so now we program scene one, two, and three as groups so if I switch over to scene number two, it'll come on, 
scene one and, and three will go red, which means they're off. And the effects updated because they, they were syncing together. The liquid foot will say that it's just switched over to scene two. And then if we go look at the X, we'll see that it switched to scene two. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, scene number three. Okay, that went green. And now you can see that the X effects went green as well. Okay, I went to number three rather. So, scene one, two, three. And again, we can see the X effects changing. And now I'm going to go ahead and change presets from one, two to three. Um, so we'll go ahead and I press number three. We'll notice that now the uh, chorus is now in the preset, but it's off, so it turned red. We'll see the name is called Brownface, and sure enough. So I'll go ahead and switch banks now. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, I'm going to switch banks. I'm going to go to preset number four. You can see that the um, axe went to preset number four. The liquid foot went to preset number four, grabbed the name, and now it has a delay, but it's off, and a chorus that's off, and we're on scene number one. So that is how you program from nothing to, you know, basically just getting a, a, a rig going. Uh, notice something, by the way. No power and no wires, and we're still controlling the rig. More about that later. Enjoy. Oh, I forgot one last thing, the uh, tuner. So if you hit tuner, you'll see the tuner pop up with the information, and you'll see that uh, it's grabbing that off of the, uh, see if I can get them both in there, there you go. So that's live as well, and then when you're done with the tuner, just hit the tuner button again, and it'll shut off on both units. So the uh, liquid foot goes back to deluxe verb, and the axe did as well. So if I hit the tuner, goes into tuner, hit it again, shuts off. Switch over to scene number three, scene number two, scene number one. You'll notice that the uh, liquid foot goes green, 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 and you'll also notice that, watch the effect states as I'm switching scenes you'll see that uh, as the uh, scene changes, well in this case, well there you go, so you can see it go from uh, green, now they're red, red in that scene, green in scene number three. So that's pretty much how that works.